Welcome to another video. I am the Starman, and in this video I want to talk to you about portable star trackers. I've got a portable star tracker here. This is the Fornax Light Track 2. It's quite an upmarket portable star tracker. Now there's many of these devices on the market right now. They didn't used to be years ago when I first bought one. I first bought an AstroTrack back in the olden days. I'm going right back to about 2011. There wasn't that many of these things around then. There's loads of them around now. There's a Star Adventurer. We've got the Move Shoot Move. All of these things like this enable us to put a camera on a tripod. We have this device on there and this counteracts the movement of the earth it's very very clever the way this particular one works is it's got like this arm here which swings out and then it moves slowly like that across and that means that it'll track it'll counteract the mo the motion of the earth which means that you'll be able to use a long telephoto lens to get amazing pictures like this one of the andromeda galaxy and i've got another one here of m52 these were taken with the, the, the Andromeda Galaxy was taken with the 200 millimeter lens. The M51 Galaxy was taken with a 300 millimeter lens. So I use this lens here to take quite a few of my um, pictures of space. I don't use a telescope at the moment. I use this 300 millimeter F4 lens, which is a very, very nice lens. And it's ideal for putting on the tracker and it enables me to get those amazing pictures of those galaxies because if you don't have a tracker, you basically put your camera on a tripod and you are limited to how long you can take a photograph of the night sky for, say, of a nebula like the Orion Nebula. There's a limit to how long you can take a picture of using a telephoto lens. It's only a few seconds and you're going to get trailing. So that's why a portable star tracker like this one is very, very handy. Now, of course, you can also get huge mounts for guiding telescopes on the sky like a german equatorial mount like an neq6 i've got one of those at the moment actually but these are absolutely massive and you can't carry something like that to a dark sky site let's say you want to go to the lake district or you want to go into wales say if you live in this country and you want to oh i want to have a go at photographing the andromeda galaxy or the orion nebula and i want to use my 300 millimeter or whatever lens you've got you say, well, I want to take a tracker. Well, this is where these come in, you see, because although this one is one of the bigger um, trackers out there, because of course the Star Adventure Mini, I think they did, that's a very small one. The Move Shoot Move is very small. And if you want, I'll see if I can get hold of some of those and I'll do like a review on all of those if I can. And I have actually done a review. Well, it wasn't really a review. It was more of how to set this particular tracker up. So I'm going to put a link to that, I think just up here in this corner here and at the the end of this video so yeah I did do a video last year where I set this device up here this four nice light track too this is one of the more advanced of the portable star trackers and uh, it's very similar to the astral track which I had before in design so you can have a look at that video I'll put a link to it at the end so there you go that's uh, my little video just telling you about the the portable star trackers and how handy they are for helping us to take longer exposures and get those amazing pictures of those galaxies. I took a picture of the M51 Whirlpool Galaxy from my back garden here in Blackpool. Can you believe that? Absolutely amazing picture and it was captured with this lens right here. So it just goes to show you what you can get when you've got one of these amazing gadgets here. So I'm going to put a link at the end of this video to the video that I did last year, it was last year when I did it, where I set this thing up. I show you how to set it up, how to polar align it. I go through everything from putting it on the tripod and turning it on and all that sort of thing. So you can check out that video. I'll put a link to it at the end. So let me know if you'd like me to have a look at some other Star Trekkers such as the Star Adventurer and the Move Shoot Move, and I can do that for you. You can also even track the comet. The comet is still in disguise. I have not seen the comet since I did those videos on it back in January, but it's still there if you want to have a go and see if you can capture it. You'll have to look up where it is. I'm not sure where it is at the moment. Anyway, that's it for this video. I will see you again on the next one.